ladies and gentlemen we might be done with the haunted playstation 1 collection but i have something that is very similar to it um I'm not sure if this is the same team, but there is another kind of haunted PlayStation 1 collection out there. And that is something called Chain. Chain is a collection of 20 games that have a theme that basically it's a game of telephone, but it's video games. So uh, 20 video games collected into one horror collection. I'm not sure if it's just horror or whatever, but it's basically, um, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's a game of telephone, really. So, uh, you know it. But, uh, yeah. But anyway, let's ch check out the trailer first, because I've never played this. But here's the here's the tra trailer, yeah. <laughs> FME Friday. In 1997, 20 seemingly on... I'm gonna... Fucking shit! I fucking I did not plan that. I did not plan uh, the fucking A team thing. For fuck's sake! Oh god! Oh fuck! was sent to prison by the Aga team. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I had no intention, whatever. I had no idea. Related games for the PlayStation One. God damn it! That is that the, the, the coincidence of this is ridiculous. They were marked as nothing noteworthy and stored in regional surplus. These specimens mm. reemerged in a 2006 inventory check and were assigned to a team of digital archaeologists. Cursory analysis showed the titles had no known origin nor publisher or any record. The mystery of the interconnected narrative has been listed as an anomaly by the government officials. A research operation has been established to uncover their true chronological order. Add the meat to add a team to Metopia places. Chain. Well, this looks cool. Huh? Again, I'm not sure if it's all horror or whatever, but uh, hey, look at this, man. This looks pretty, pretty damn legit. Uh, Right. Well, I'm pretty stoked to play this. I mean, a team aside. <laughs> uh, cool. Cool, man. Uh, all right. Well, uh, again, first time I'm playing this. So, hey, you know what? I'm liking the spooky theme tonight. Well, uh, we have uh, spooky Saturday. So, hey, you know what? I don't know if a team is spooky, but, <laughs> you know. Let's go. Let's -a go. Um, here's Chain. Um. Chain. Chronological haunted anomalous interconnective narrative. It's always like, you know what? If you just want to make something sound cool, you don't need to explain it with a. Uh, is it not an acronym? What is it called? The, uh, you know, do 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 do, you know. All right, well, let's let's give it a try. It's a little too loud. No. Uh, all right, let's do this. So we got a game called Torch. I I I like the the menu here actually. Uh, Mrs. Blanche, uh, specimen. Okay. The participants. Okay. Emerge. All right. Drip Fina Yeezys. Cloud uh, Gangnam Style? Alright. Uh, Dream Aether. Okay. Aether. Interesting. Yeah. Ball out. Uh. Alright. Specimen 8. It's. I can't even see what the. W wait a minute. Wait Wait a minute. Hang on. I'm noticing the logo. This, this is Haunted PlayStation. This is Haunted PlayStation 1 collection. Look. Got the little ghost guy. Interesting. Well, I guess it just continues, huh? Yeah. This is pretty damn cool, though. Oh, that's swell. We got Organ of Eden. Day 11. Avert your eyes. Yeah, good luck explaining this one. All right. <laughs> what was ass? Assigned. Oh, right. 
game called 15 and a game called si oh no no this is numbers 16 and this is veil scary library oh it's gonna be real spooky abraxas is that the movie with uh isn't that a movie with what was it called jesse the body ventura from like the 80s If you're fair, 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 man, I'm six, six, six. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna play the first game chronologically. But anyway, so the, the premise of this game, as, as explained, uh, one of these games has a theme that carries over to the next one. Whatever that is, I'm not sure yet. But let's uh, let's give it a try. Okay. So how do I do this? Examine. Let's play it. Spinning her. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do this every time. But I'm used to that. I'm used to that. Okay. Here we go. Here's torch. See what it's all about. Okay. Did, did I not watch someone play this when you hosted them? Yeah, I think KY streamed this a while ago. Um, I was there for like 10 minutes and he played a game where you were like a giant eyeball, I think. So we'll get to that one eventually, I think. But uh, yeah. Uh, is this really all you do? <laughs> Dora the Explorer. <laughs> okay. It's kind of creepy, you know. Wait, what? The game closes if you press escape? You are serious. I just wanted to check the controls. Log notes. Research. No, no, no. I just want to find the controls, man. Okay, uh, well. Try that again. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. Okay. Oh, I, I still have the wrong ticker on Twitch. Yeah, hang on, give me a second. Give me one moment, guys. Uh, is chain a thing? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Awesome. Don't know if we're going to get through all the games here tonight, but, uh, you know. There we go. All right. Yeah, I have no idea how to actually control the game, but you know, wasp is the standard, you know. It's like Tomb Raider, I, I guess. Okay. Um, holy shit, Chain! My friend made one of the games on that. Really? What? What game did he do? He might play it. Uh, Okay, this looks like a Sega Sega CD game. Uh. Am I a glissy gobbler or a throat goat? <laughs> throat goat. Okay, I was gonna say, is there a run button in this? But I don't think so. Okay, and then an alien pops out of the darkness. A Gru eats me. Uh. Okay. I wouldn't say it's scary. It's more atmospheric. I think I think it's the music that uh, makes this game less scary. Uh, it's atmospheric and nice, but I'm not sure if that's like a good thing for this. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, oh, here we go. Uh, All right. Is that it? That's it. That's it. That's it, man. The end. Cut the Skyrim, I guess. All right. Well, so the torch game here goes into Miss Blank Blanche. 
I see the log notes here. Specimen respond with input of the direction of the pointer by device and keys. Input wasp. Well, oh, is it? When applied to Sony's play this screen, it does not respond to voice input or it. This seems to be made of resistive materials. Material. Able to withstand up to at least pounds. Tested as such. So we got a little bit of that SCP going on there. Uh, physical form resembles Sony PlayStation disc format. Black reflective black side plastic. Cons of disc is dial referring to. Okay. I see. Well, let's give this one a try. Are oh, they all this short, though? I guess we're going to find out. All right. Here we go. I guess I'm a little spoiled after playing the Haunted Places 1 collection. G-Man? Ah, Miss Blank. Glad to see you made it this far. My apologies for having us for us having me to meet to meet this way. I'm sure you understand that these circumstances required a but a more elaborative route. However, I'm sure you're pleased to hear that the two of the other participants have made it beyond this point. That's right, this isn't quite the end of the road yet. Do you know what beach we are on, Mrs. Blank? Yeah. Have a look around, see if you can find a landmark, yeah. That's right, it's endless beaches all the way. Yeah. You'll find that this beach, in a certain way, doesn't really exist. In fact, after you step through that gate, you are transported to a place that's personal to you. It does all feel rather similar. Familiar, doesn't it? Endless as it may be, there's a way forward. I don't think you're going to need that torch, I assure you. Stick close to me and hold your breath, and you'll be fine. Are you sure? Feels like I'm playing that uh, that drug game again, where I no the, the monkey game, and I went down into the ocean, and uh, I played Dire Dire Docks. <laughs> Don't go too far now. Lonely Gorilla. Yes, that's that's what it was called. <laughs> Do I look back? Up. Oh, okay. I thought it was one of those, you know, Stygian kind of. All right. <laughs> Don't speak. Hold your breath. Remember that game where all this shit, shit, the new metal shit posting came from. What was that? Breathe, I think it was called. Don't a baby, baby. Okay. Well, you do walk in this game, just like the other. Ocean man. Take me by the hand. Did you all finish Haunted PlayStation 1? Yep, we did. That's why we're playing this, because uh, I was like, oh, more PlayStation horror games. And it turns out that this is another collection made by the same team. Well, not by the same team, but it's it's like collaborated together. So, you know. Um. I would definitely say it's it's more atmospheric stuff rather than haunted place in one collection. I'm not sure if these like qualifies as games. I mean, I guess they do, but like he's getting farther and farther every time. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> so this is the Half Life Alex TLC everyone's been talking about. Uh oh, it's an experience. It's art, you know. Ooh. Well, you were you did have a torch in the previous game and you walked a lot, so you're walking underwater now. So uh when you walk in. <laughs> the thing is though, they can get away with not being too PlayStation -y here, because you know really it's just meant to be a kind of a graphical thing, you know. The other games, I feel, is the best in the other collection, Haunted PlayStation 1, because it's in the name. PlayStation 1 collection. This is just whatever, you know. Nice ocean bus gameplay, Joel. <laughs> ocean bus. <laughs> Take him by the hand. Was, was Ocean Man downpitched? Like the vocals are really like dropped an octave. It's it's bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. Hey, come back. Hey, you come back now. Uh oh. That's it? That's that? Wow, these games are real short, huh? Alright, uh, don't know what I got out of that, but, uh, so far it's been a very, very surreal experience, but the participants... Oh, I see, so the, this, the guy from the previous game... Oh, okay, okay. Let's see what this one is all about. Uh, you're probably... If, if it's this short, we could probably finish the entire collection, maybe. Hang on. Here we go. For under the sea or high in the clouds, it is a strange place I have found myself the keeper of. We currently have three successful participants enrolled here. Okay. What the? Well, this is a strange control. But all right. Press two arrows to walk. Uh... <laughs> this never used to be here. Well, this game is kind of creepy. Huh? Right. It's an interesting concept, this whole chain thing. A, ga a game of telephone, literally. Like, uh... Okay. Yeah. These games are more artsy than horror, I would say. Oh, hey, hello. Uh... Mrs. Blank. Oh, it's, it is? Okay, I favored her very much. She may look dead now, but in actuality, she is fighting through a mindscape of her own creation. Will she awaken from her test? What? There's a torch. Oh, maybe it is the same story from the previous one. I told her she wouldn't need this torch. Do I get to use the torch now? Uh, what a strange little game now. See, I don't even know if this really qualifies as like horror. I mean, it's weird, but you know. Okay. Hmm. I don't like that screen flash. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Okay, I guess not. Okay, so I guess we're heading back. Yeah. Okay. Hurts my eyes, man. Okay, so now we can burn this up with the torch. I, I don't know. I managed to break yeah, down the boards with the torch. Oh, yeah, look at that. Interesting. You're diving off the coast of Canada. It's as strange as you remember. It's cold and you're an idiot creature, <laughs> not designed for an ocean. You just sort of float along. Okay. And it's suddenly dark. You have you have a light, but you can barely see anything. Until the beam clips something close, something huge and moving incredibly fast. Is this like Captain Beefheart lyrics? It's like standing uh, next to a train as it as rockets past. I cannot go back to your frown land. Fast and bulbous. And later you dream about it and you're going, to, you're going about your, your day and you see it to the corner of your eye. It's immense and so much faster than you remember. You try to move, but you just hang there. Floating, waiting for it to finally take you. Uh, okay. Watch out. He's gonna get you. Monsters. What, what the? Okay. It's punch out now. Attack, okay. I don't know how to attack here. Is it space bar maybe? Oh, there we go. 
Goodbye. <laughs> what is this, man? It's so damn surreal. I appreciate the uh, the commitment to like making something like this, but like, what? You know. All right, I'm like at a junkyard or something. Okay, there's something over here. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's go on over here now. Uh, hey guys, we're, we're doing Hab Hotel. You don't really see them when you're well, but get sick or start to stumble and you'll find vultures of every kind birds dogs other people just hovering at the horizon and waiting for you to finally sit down and give up okay if you close your eyes you can hear them inching closer and closer it's like those stories you hear about old people dying in their apartments and their own cats eating them meow meow same thing vultures oh okay oh watch out is that a dick what is that Yes, we're checking out uh, this Pokemon remake. It's, it's pretty fire, you know. All I can think of about when this bird is there, I'm thinking of this old Photoshop of the seagull with arms saying, Has science gone too far? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I got a little poopoo -poo here, or whatever. This is where I left participant number two. Where have they gone? Okay. Uh, like nightmare magic hint or something. Okay. I think this shiny emblem belonged to participant number two. All right. I mean, it's the best one so far, uh, oddly enough. Like, seriously, it is. But I mean, that's not saying much. I hold up the emblem, even wrapped in dreams. Participant number two is, br is drawn to it. I see them flying high in the distance. They will be fine. What? Goodbye. Man, this screen flicker is annoying. <laughs> okay. See ya. <laughs> they grooving. <laughs> they grooving. Okay, now I, I really hope that there will be some sort of like sort of explanation here going on Because sometimes when you're playing games like this, you're like, okay, I, it, it's weird But is it just weird for the sake of being weird? Like too smart for me? Is that a gun? Yes, it is. Where did this come from? All right, head, heading back I suppose uh, and oh my god, I'm sorry for everybody watching right now. The screen flicker is like really pissing me off. I saw this a micro uh, motorcycle outside too. So that's number two. And then we have what else? Uh, ow! That's number one. I won't have to worry about that lock anymore. Okay. The bush. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, it's a salt order. <laughs> okay, I gotta be faster with that apparently. Wait, how the hell? There we go. 
Oh no, I shot a friend. Look at his face. What the? <coughs> the blood. The blood. Uh oh, I'm real slow now. I killed a participant. So that's it. My backwards masters will be facing me out of the existence. I feel it happening now. For some reason, my final thought turns to Mrs. Blanche. Has she woken up? My final message changed the world. Oh, right. Okay, G-Man got fired. The end. Goodbye. Okay, next game. It's get get stranger and stranger, man. Emerge. Okay, uh, this is 16 games to go. It's like action 52 over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, I hate to say it, but the best part of this game so far has been the menus. <laughs> I'm I'm dead ass about that. Okay, yeah. Uh, bomber opinion, Joel. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Mrs. Blank. Yeah. All right. So there is some. The, the narrative is going. All right. All right. I'm Mrs. Blank now. Right, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna give this game 10 out of 10 graphics. Yeah. Okay. I'm missing this like shit cave, man. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Every single game so far has been walk until something happens. Well, I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. Don't get close. Oh, oh okay. You got it. Yeah. You see. I don't know why, but this game in particular reminds me of Neverhood. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, so is there a story being told here? I mean, it's too early to say, I suppose, but you know, we have 16 games because this is like number four, but you know, Moses moment. <laughs> Moses moment. Okay. It's a strange game, man. Don't get close. Uh, all right. <laughs> I will say this: these games, these games feel like true dreams. These games are incredibly dream-esque, where like you really feel you're playing like a nightmare or a dream. It's just like this. What the hell did I just play? You're waking up. The more you think about it, the more you forget it. You know. Very, very strange. <laughs> okay, now, now, crush. Oh, no. What the? DMCA, DMCA. Pass the test. That was another game. My God, man! Like, <laughs> all right. Then we got Finna Drip. Okay. So everybody put his keyboard. Was USB mouse input influences viewing angle to some degree. No other inputs are registered in testing. This matches the parameters of the standard Sony CD. Cover consists of two ink layers. Uh, this was ripped. Was he ripped to hard storage using a standard CD-ROM drive? 
All right, emulate a high performance workstation using PC Pro. Okay. Let's get that Fina Drip. Yeet. Okay, yeah. Uh, I will say this so far. Hang on. A scare place is far away. I will say this. I much prefer the haunted place in one collection over chain. It's all right, well, cool graphics. Oh, okay. Yo, what's the hey, you know what? Best game so far. Best game so far. Space to jump, press again to hover. Mario Galaxy who? This is like Super Monkey Ball in space. Best game so far gameplay wise for sure. Is that, is that where I've been going? Shift to dive. Okay. Come back. <laughs> you shouldn't go down there. Miss Black will be very upset. And all this testing will have been for nothing. So I guess there's some sort of story being told here, but... Okay, see if I can get the Mario 64 ring. No, go up. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Seaman simulator. Hang on. Collecting those little things. Okay. As, the, as if they meant anything at all. Come on, I'm gonna get through there. Oh, come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, not when you're so seduced by sleep. <laughs> what is going on, man? That's it. That's another game down. My god, this is so like what? Alright, dream either. Alright, alright. <laughs> it's cool, but it's like you know. Okay, alright. New game, new game. Okay, Mrs. Blank is furious with you now, especially oh, uh, talks. Uh, Okay, vaporwave. Uh, shift to boost. Okay. Collect ten fragments to create the key. Collect the key to progress the dream. <laughs> I kind of like this game even better than the last one. Because uh, this one is almost ironic, you know. <laughs> that also. Honestly, it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like Shady Star Fox. Okay. Okay. What's left? Oh, we have more in the sky here. Yeah. My God. So so far, chat. Who's what's been your favorite uh, the chain collection? Th this this takes the cake for me. I like this one the most because it's just like it's kind of funny. I don't know. Uh, okay, the yank and kick in and okay. I like the uh, little you know cylinder cyl cylinders. It's not a cylinder. That's like a uh, what are, what are they called? Uh, Beyblade vibing. Okay, one more. Tehidrodon. This looks like one. Uh, uh, <laughs> no Man's Sky. Alright, gotta get that key. Okay, this game should have been called Drip because it's the most, uh, you know, good, good one. And it just ends? It just ends. No, there's more. 
Oh, thank God, yes, sir. Was it that scary place? Mm. Is that what this is all about? You betcha. Yes, remember, the testing is over, I promise. It's testing? Uh, something about water? Uh, now there's something going on here, but it's, 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 it's just... <laughs> It's a little too too out there, but I'm sure once we're done with all the games, we'll be like, oh, so that's what it was all about. It was all about being afraid to go take pee pee's at night. Okay, can't go too far. It, it, it's vapor wavy. That's why I like it. I think. Okay. This, also, this game also has kind of cool graphics, too. It's like I'm playing a JPEG. <laughs> you know, like a BMP. Okay, there's another one up in the sky. Do I like Vaporwave? Uh, there's aspects of it that I like here. I like when Vaporwave is a little more creative than, like, Simpsons Wave. <laughs> you know? Okay, we have one more. I see it. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Swerve. Tag off the wave. Okay. There we go. And then, no, where, where am I? Okay. Simpson wave is religion. There you go. You've gone and done it now. I have sunk deep into the darkest depths. <laughs> this game has a great soundtrack. I don't know if, I don't know if it's original or not, but uh This isn't safe anymore. You have to come back now. Favorite game so far for sure. This is Jeff Keeley's nightmare hat. My fucking hands! If you're new to this stream, that won't make any sense. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's some, something on the floor there. <laughs> it actually sounds like that Dagothor. It kind of does, yeah. Do you know when the next Metopia stream is going to be? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Because I have, like, nothing lined up for tomorrow. So. Face. In 1972. Vaporwave. It's too pretty for being a place in one game. Yeah, I would say so, but I don't think that's exactly what they're trying to go for. They're more so go for just like an artsy thing. But but if I can say this, Haunted PlayStation 1 collection is so much better than this. But they're very different. But if there's something I would say like I want to play something, I don't think I'll ever go back to this one and be like, oh, I can't wait to play some chain today, you know? This is bus. This is bus. That's a bus. Brownie points in. Why wouldn't you listen to me? To Mrs. Block? Even with your body back, who knows what will happen next? <laughs> Don't come crying to me after all the horrors we will see. Okay. Interesting. Uh, favorite so far, I would say. All right, ball out is gonna be the last one for today. Let's give it a try. Is this gonna be Marble Madness or something? I guess we're gonna find out. Too. Oh, it's balls 3D. Yeah. Open your eyes. Trying to, man. I'm getting sleepy. Your new booty. Okay, yeah. Balls out. It's now ready. I'm ready, chief. Put me in coach. I'm unable to move. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see. Absolute horror. I cannot live. I cannot. But your cell will help. Bring me the fallen souls. 
the process of rebirthing it. Okay. Well, now begin. Initiating phase one. Okay. Now loading. Excuse me. We use those arrow keys. Uh, arrow keys. Uh, bring the soul to the exit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh okay, okay, I see. I see. You gotta be careful here. And then we go back. Superhuman ball. Banana blitz. Okay. Hey, someone forgot to install Counter-Strike. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, watch out, watch out now. Watch out now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Americans, have you ever played a game called Kula World on PlayStation? Just curious if that game was like a thing beyond Sweden. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of people have. All right. It's a Swedish game. Ah, oh, damn it. This controls a little, little difficult. How do you spell it? K U L A. World. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, I, you know what? Uh, I, I'm gonna ask you. Did I ever tell you guys a story about when I ate a labyrinth ball? Did I ever tell that on stream? No, I didn't. Okay, well, uh, uh, you know one of those like labyrinths that are, you, you tilt and you're passing a little like ball down into these holes. You have to avoid them and you have to like tilt them, right? You know one of those, you know. Um, I don't know why, but I, when I was like five or six, I took that like little ball and I just ate it. Mom asked, where that, where did it go? And I'm like, ate it. Why? Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. But we managed to get it back. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> we threw it out. <clears throat> careful, careful, careful. Huh. Okay. All right. Okay, this one's a little tricky. Yeah. It's like I'm playing Kirby's Dream Course, but it's like a nightmare. How did it feel? I I I don't remember, but not very good, I guess. You should do it again, Joel. Oh yeah, yeah. I should just eat things on stream. And be like, I should be like like that guy who ate the airplane, you know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. Quick level. We got some more? Or is that it? Oh, there's more. Oh, God. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that, that jump scare thing with the exorcist in it. <laughs> oh, shit. The, the, yeah, the May Screamer. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Played that on stream. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Okay, careful. Slow down now. Slow down now. Slow down now. Huh. Okay. Guys, I need this game upscaled on 8K. Fuck! Okay. This game would have been a whole lot better if if the controls weren't like made of slugs. <laughs> okay, it's a fly in my apartment right now, and he keeps like trying to steal my toes. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, now. careful, careful. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, man, funny feet. 
Okay. You know, I don't even kill flies, you know why. It's not so much of an ethical thing. <laughs> it's more so I don't want, like, disgusting bug juice on my hands. <laughs> They have a great they have a great way of like defending themselves. I'm just like I don't I don't wanna kill you. It's cause you're gross. Your death, you know. Yeah, my hands. What the fuck do you guys kill flies with? God damn it. I'd use I use I I just use poisonous bait. Do you like tell the fly? Hey, hey, buddy, you know, it'd be epic. Check out this le these leftovers I have. Oops. All rat poison. <laughs> Chopsticks. Okay, this, 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 this game might be my least favorite so far because it, it's wearing out its welcome real quick. Because I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. Oh, for fuck's sake! If the camera was able to tilt a little bit, you'd be able to like tell more what's going on, but it's it's like oh, and it's so slow. Okay. So th th my favorite one was the vaporwave one. Okay, careful, careful. Do not go down. Do not go down. Do not go down. Do not go down. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. Careful. Fuck! <sighs> Okay, got to be more careful here. And this fly is ticking, ticking me off because he keeps landing on my like legs, and I'm like, stop it! I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, man, okay. Hello, I'm I'm that t posing uh, pink guy, and the funny marble. I give you nightmares. Okay, okay. You guys excited for E3 tomorrow? You know we got Xbox. Uh, we gotta get that Xbox, you know. No. I'm excited for Square Enix. I can't wait to see more of Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know. I'm a big fan of that. Okay. Last time I talked about Final Fantasy Remake, it was with the cab driver. He's like, you, you gotta play it. You gotta play it. I'm like, all right. All right. Hmm? I'm sorry. You finally walk. Consider this your home. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, that means we have 12 games left. Uh, I don't know what to say about Shane so far. I, I can't tell if I'm like disappointed or just not into it, but um, it's a cool idea, but it's it's like maybe too artsy for, for me. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play them all, obviously. But uh, it's like, I enjoy them from a very like surreal artistic perspective. But it's like, I'm not sure if it makes for good streaming. <laughs> like, um, it's very dry and very like matter of fact. It's like, here are art games, you know? They're not really scary. They're more like in, evocative of emotions, you know? So uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, if anything, they're kind of like LSD Dream Simulator. Which is not a horror game, but some people find that game scary. So I don't know, but I'll say this: this is an excellent, cool idea, and I want to see more of this being done. However, I'll do a part two of this uh, because right now, all right, I I ripped out the the cable on the USB thing on the microphone, so my bad. But I was gonna say uh, I'm gonna do a part two of this and see where it all leads. I am intrigued, but I just hope it it does lead somewhere, so it's not just twenty games of too deep for me, you know. So. You know, but I like it. I like it. I'll see what happens to it. But uh, all right. After my, much, much uh, microphone, this and that stuff, uh, let's just start the stream instead. 
but uh, all right so we're gonna do more chain um and chain is a series of games or a collection rather made by the people that organized the playstation uh, haunted disc thing and on top of that um we did a little bit of this previously and uh, well we have deducted that a lot of these games are not necessarily the most fun to play they're more sort of like telling a story which is also very like cryptic and weird but uh, you know let's let's see what this game is all about man uh, i'm i'm excited to see where it all goes so far it's been a lot of underwater and g-man <laughs> so uh you know Let's see here. Uh, what was the running theme? I forgot. I don't know if there's any like clear running theme per se. It's more so. Um, it's more so a kind of bizarre uh, collection of just. I would almost say they're, they're dreamesque in in its nature. So, you know. All right, the first strand type series. All right. Well, let's let's play some more of this. All right, let me just put it on screen. Here's more chain. Oh, it's chronological haunted anomalous in interconnected narrative. Yeah, right. I might never call it that. <laughs> Someone is restreaming me. Well, congratulations. All right, so the last game we were at was, uh, let's see here. We played Grey Meether. Uh, Ball Lab was pretty good. Uh, this was the next game, right? Uh, was it not? Uh, I think so. Yeah, Ball Lab was the last one. That, that means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen games left. All right. Let's see here. Uh, all right. Well, everybody, let's let's uh, let's give it a try and see what it's all about. Let's check the log notes on this one. Overseen by Chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more unnatural our work becomes, the more we progress. I'm hopeful for what the future brings. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Uh, Let's give it a try. So far, the best part of this whole collection is the menu, in my opinion. Like, the games are very... Some are some are good, some are just... I don't know, man. They they, they don't always uh, come out on top, but... Uh, oh my god, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> am I a giant penis? What am I? No, it's a butt. It's a butt. <laughs> All right. I have a giant meatball. It's like Gory Katamari in the nude. <laughs> what is this? Okay. <laughs> It's like an art to take on what happens in your body, you know, with uh, medical crap. Like these are bacteria. These are good bacteria. This is what happens when you eat yogurt, you know. <laughs> Best one yet. All these games, they are incredibly like dreamlike, you know. They don't make a lot of sense, which it, like it's cool, but like what is it, you know? Okay, I gotta kill all these. Uh, what are those? Is that a umbilical cord? I think it is. Meet Jesus. I don't know what's going on, but uh, all right, kill potatoes. All right. I I was at the uh, also th this this gore texture or the blood or whatever. I swear to God, I've seen that somewhere else. I don't know where, but. Anyway, I was at the gas station yesterday, and I I, uh, I bought a hot dog. Yeah, uh, but they offered hot dog on top. I ate hot dog, two hot dogs on top of um, like a like a box of fries. The thing is, gas stations don't have a deep fryer, so they bake the fries in an oven, and it really had a homemade taste to it. And I don't mean homemade as in good, more so like you made fries at 2 a.m. 
in the oven, you know. <laughs> oh, it died. Phase two. Baby steps. All right. It's from doing this again. <laughs> is that a giant placenta? What the fuck is that? <laughs> we have hot dogs at home tier? Yeah, I kind of like that too. <laughs> there we go. One thing that fascinates me is, is in America you can buy frozen burritos, taquitos, all that stuff. Can't do that here in Sweden. I think I had, a, I had a conversation with Simple Flips about frozen burritos. They aren't very good. Oh, yeah? Okay, they suck. Well, if you put, put your uh, burrito in an air fryer, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like this game, actually. It's... It, I don't know what's with it, but it's, it's not that bad. It's just one of those what-the-fuck kind of games. Uh, you know. Oh, there we go. One more. Thing is, though, is this going to connect to something? What's the what's the chain thing going to be? Because the last game we played, we were a face going around shooting cubes. <laughs> so, you know. Come on. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> what am I finding? What is that? It's kind of... Oh, damn it. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy, but it's also so bizarre that it's like... What 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 is happening? <laughs> Fiskbullar. Okay. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The last game we played was not at all uh, the, the game with the face in it. The last game we played was like a... Uh, a game where you tilt a character in a ball. And I guess this is what cares... It, giant ball? Okay, well, <laughs> we'll see where it's leading. Any chance of Resident Evil 8? Not tonight. I, I'm not feeling any, like, uh, you know, <laughs> Resident Evil, actually. I'd rather be playing a bunch of weird games like this, uh, you know. So. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Big fetus. Uh. You know what I totally forgot on E3? There was like a director's cut for Death Stranding, and they, they teased that it was like, haha, Metal Gear. And I, I think that Kojima and company thought that was going to be way bigger than it was, because I already forgot about it. <laughs> it's like, oh, Metal Gear, whatever. It's like, nobody gave a fuck, you know? So, I don't know. It's kind of sad, really. I also, was Metal Gear, uh, was Death Stranding meant to kind of be like an anti-Metal Gear? Like, I'm going to make something completely different. It will have nothing to do with Metal Gear. I'm just going to make something that I want to make. Yeah. Yes. Then I feel it's also like detrimental to also reference your most famous work in a director's cut. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, yeah, I know you guys didn't like this fucking game. Here's some Metal Gear. Please buy my new game. That's the same, <laughs> you know? Joel, thoughts on this year's overall E3? Um, one of my favorite E3s, actually. I'm, I'm dead serious about that because it was the most, like, quick one. Uh, it was over really quickly, and it had no uh, audience that laughed and cheered always. I'm serious. I, it was actually really refreshing because it, it wasn't feel it wasn't feeling like you're the odd one out in a cult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you allowed, you were the one. You could boo, you could clap, whatever you wanted. And I, I just had, I just hate uh, pres presentators on on stage, you know. But so far, where the games actually come from, like jokes aside. Um, I don't know, Stalker 2, Final Fantasy Chaos, uh, which looked terrible, but, you know, I, I don't know. I would say, like, Metro Dread looked good, uh, Sinkasuya in Smash was cool, but I don't know if there was anything I was really, like, interested in, you know? Music is kind of cool in this game, actually. Okay, yeah. Oh, 
All right, sir. Sacrifices must be made. I know what sisters was it. Okay, next game. See, these games are going by real quick too, so, uh, you know. But all right, uh, that was sure something. Uh, what was it all about? I don't know. I guess it was swell. It was swell and nice. Specimen closely resembles disc format. Yeah, we've seen this. Uh, contents of disc depict unknown subsequent and entity. No carp. I'm throwing gang signs. Look at this. All right. Cool. Let's give it a try, I guess. Swell. We said. All right. Phase three. Swell. Oh, this is the game. I thought it was okay. Okay. They, 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 there's still a thing about ball. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm underwater, maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's like Agario. <laughs> it's like Agario, but shitty. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm collecting these these things. It's like uh Katamari, I guess. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what this is. Okay. Um, th these games would would f be excellent in one of those like video game museums or whatever. <laughs> you know, Chain 2012 or not Kama 2012, but like you know whatever. This game explored these themes. This game explored that. It was exciting. I, oh, I, oh, yeah, I, I... Consumed. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta be careful with this. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I have a giant piece on me. They look like... They look like... Uh, I don't know what they look like. Yeah. But these graphics, man... Not on a PlayStation would this be acceptable. It's like blur of vision. It's like I have glaucoma. <laughs> I don't know, man. So I was at the dentist. I was at the dentist. Um, did I tell you guys what I have to do with the, after going to the dentist? It's like you go to the dentist, you leave with more problems, you know? I gotta pull fucking two wisdom teeth. Ain't that gonna be fun? Like, what the fuck... Wisdom teeth just causes problems, man. Yeah, two two fucking wisdom teeth. Back of my back of my mouth. Oh shit, I'm gonna be consumed. Oh no. Dentist stream. Alright. <laughs> more wisdom, more problems. Okay. Well, uh, it certainly is a game, and it's, uh... You know what would be great for this uh, for this game? A little music or something. It's just, like, so dry, man. I'm gonna close my window, by the way. Sorry. Alright, we're back. So, uh, where were, the, where were we? Oh, yeah. Let's see... Let's see where we t where, where this big old, big old funny, uh, snowball thing comes from, or comes to. The, 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 this game and ball out might be my least favorite so far. It just it's like There's like nothing here. Th this game could have might as well been a fucking like I'm sorry to be so like negative, but this game is It's like nothing to it. You know, it's like you collect the other ball and there's no sound <laughs> It's just so dry man. It's like a screensaver, you know, hey Windows 98 you missed one, you know I'd rather be playing. I'd rather be playing the the Windows 98 Mace. You know, <laughs> it's uh, definitely not my favorite, but uh, maybe it gets good. Maybe we get you know somewhere with this. But uh, you know, I don't know. There's a high pitched screech in the background. 
what is the tinnitus noise what out my head jesus christ my ears what what are you talking about oh i hear it oh i hear it. it's from the game oh i hear it oh that's fucking annoying that's like the shit they, they kill bugs with oh god ah Okay, uh, yeah, that's annoying to listen to. Not only is this game, like, kind of play to, to play, it's also annoying to listen to. <laughs> On top of my commentary. But, uh, I, I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know about this one. Uh oh watch out, there's a guy. Oh, the, the, the annoying ear-piercing noise, that's from the, the other uh, enemies or whatever. Hey, fuck off. I don't know. That, yeah. I'm actually going to skip this one. Uh, I've had enough of Swell. Uh, least favorite game, I would say. Borderline unplayable. Like, I, I don't know, man. That that was that was real weak. That was real weak. It, it really felt like playing a screensaver. On top of that, you have an ear-piercing thing? Like, oh, man, that's... I don't know. Well, Organ of Eden... Uh, probably would be way better. Uh, I mean, as maybe some of these games aren't the best, but uh, they do have a concept throughout them. But, but uh, I don't know, man. That swell, swell was not my favorite. I gotta be honest. Well, let's try out Organ of Eden. Let's see what this one is all about. All right. Okay. Here's Organ of Eden. Yeah, it's already better. <laughs> it's already better, man. Am I a head crab? What is this? Zergling simulator. Oh, it's like uh, carrion, maybe. Oh, sweet. Oh, this this FOV, though. Oh, mamma mia. Gotta eat the meat. Gotta eat the meat. Do I put the meat in the bowl, or...? Okay. What is this? Am I eating, or...? No. Can I escape somewhere? Has the glass broken? Oh, I can jump outside now. <laughs> Why does he have two eyeballs? That's not what the back of your eyes look like. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm gonna like nauseous looking at this game. Oh my god, the F. What is happening? What? Whoa! What? Dude, it's claustrophobic. What is this? What is this? Can you see what's going on? Oh, okay, that's a door. What is... He has been contained. <laughs> this fucking weird-ass game, man. It feels like you're playing a head crab, but... Are you? What is what is this? I'm fascinated, but like... They all feel like nightmare games. They all feel like nightmare games. Whoa, what? Okay, uh, do I gotta eat more? Or what, what, what's happening? Okay. They didn't fight back, they just like... Turn into lungs. <laughs> Noises. Oh, it's all collapsing. That's what's happening. Okay. Decent. You know what these games feel like? It feels like you're 12 years old and you open up Game Maker for the first time and you have this grand vision of, I'm going to make the best game ever and you just like churn out something like this and you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's very specific, I know, but I don't know. This. All right. 
Okay. Again, th this this could have been cool, I guess, but there's a Half-Life mod that's kind of like this, but... What is this, Ganondorf's fucking castle coming down, or... What is this? What is happening? Joe, so, this game was made by a monkey. Have some respect. <laughs> okay. Well, uh... It certainly is a game. Oh, does it just end like that? Yes, it does just end like that. It just ends like that. What the... Garden of Eden. I mean, it... I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Day 11. Let's try this one out. Game-wise, the haunted place in one collection decimates this. I, I, I'm I, sorry to be negative, but... They, like, barely constitute us games. They're just, like... Examples of games, you know, kind of. Okay, this this is more like more. Oh my god, what? I'm not done yet. I got a few games to go. This could be creepy. Look at this. You even got the Silent Hill kind of red thing over here. You know. Okay. Okay. Joel forgot his glass. I'm Velma. I'm Velma. <laughs> my glasses. Okay. Well. All right. E. <laughs> what if the game just ends there? Next game. Joel, did I see the Windows 11 leak? I, I heard about it and a lot of people are asking me, are you gonna destroy Windows 11 this year? No, no. Maybe after, but uh, I, I have no ambition of like, Destroying a system that's barely like out to you know I expect Windows 11 to be terrible because Windows 10 was like okay-ish Still is but it's like those uneven numbers on Windows that just suck ass like Windows 8 uh -uh. You know It's actually pretty good to give it a year or two. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. Windows 7, Windows 7 was, was the best. Windows 7 was XP2. I still say that. Windows 7 was so good because, like, uh, if you had experience maneuvering through XP, you were still on, you were still on good terms with it. If you, if you have any computer knowledge, Windows 10 is, like, not your friend because you have to, like, go into what they consider archaic menus, you know? They have streamlined everything, right, for, like, dummies. But the moment you want to actually, like, find out how your computer works, Windows XP menus come up, like, boom, <laughs> They're like, okay, I, we know you're not an idiot. Here, have the real stuff. Instead of, would you like to have your computer smile today? Click! You know? Like, no, I'd like to know where the fucking, you know, static IP is. Oh, oh, okay, hang on. We'll get to the real thing. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I don't know. There we go. In the process of streamlining it, they just fragmented everything. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. But Windows 10 is, is good besides the menu. So here's what you do. Get Classic Shell for it or Open Shell or whatever it's called these days. And then never look back. Okay, <laughs> So, are we going down the well again? Oh, okay. Are you serious? I'm stuck. Door stuck. Well stuck. Well stuck. Um. All right. I'll, um, I'm gonna say next game. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I just switch over to the next game? It probably ends with you going down the well and saying like, "Who was the real monster?" You know. All right. Avert. Avert your eyes. All right. These games are getting gradually more and more janky. They they kind of are, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 
Here's this game. Oh, this is kind of creepy. Whoa, whoa. What is with these games? They all want to make me fucking vomit. Like, all these games, all these games make me seasick. You know? Oh, I can't even look at it. Oh my god, I'm getting nauseous. Don't just cave my local forest. Seriously, anyone else getting seasick? <laughs> I can breathe fire, okay. Do I burn open the gate? Oh, seriously, I can't. I don't know if I can play this. It's actually getting me seasick. I, I, oh, man. All right, I guess we're going out here now. Can't do that, though. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is the, the entire game, you know. You're stuck in an iPhone and you have to burn burn a burn a thing, dude. Oh, I'm going over here now. Oh, okay. There's a little bit more to this. I don't even know how I'm playing this. It's like it, these graphics are, are like non-existent. Like there's no graphics at all. It's just like. Burn. Is that a cat in the background? Meow, 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 meow. I guess it's creepy, but it's also like... <laughs> what is happening? What is this? I know I backtrack a lot in video games, but oh my god, the vision is dangerous and not meant for us. <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? Meow meow. <laughs> what is this, man? I'm laughing because it's getting so absurd. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Burning orbs in the cave. Meow, meow. Okay. Thank you, meow mix. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know hell had public access. Okay. So uh, it's the it's the ID here that you're filming on an iPhone. It's meant to be like a creepy recording. I don't know what it is, but... Okay. UFO camera. <laughs> Satan has Snapchat. <laughs> Okay, there's a little bit to go still, I think. Oh, you, you can hold on shift. Okay, there we go. Can you jump? How did you get a video of my asshole after I eat at my favorite taco joint? <laughs> okay. Going up here. So, the, I, see a, I, I see a little bit more now, but... You know what would be real interesting? Seeing this game without, uh, like, a m massive thousand filters, you know? Like, what is actually being seen here? Every year I make an offering in secret. Okay. Oh, you know, you know what I think the, the graphics are meant to be like? I think it's meant to be like 144p. For them to leave us alone once again. Okay. Three seconds I should do it this year. Okay. A 2007 YouTube ass. All right. More like a mid-2010 Android than an iPhone. Alright, we got one more left. Oh, there's several, actually. 
hypercam moment. <laughs> Could you imagine a game like this being presented on like, you know, E3? <laughs> Instead of these like games that they're always like, Mr. Skateboard or <laughs> whatever. Here's this game. Burn chaos. If the game just ends after this, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Okay, here we go. Accept these morsels and avert your eyes. Jesus, is that you? Is that Jesus flying on the cross? What is that? Oh, I gotta, I gotta burn Christ. Sorry, G Wiz. Shot on iPhone. It, 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 this game is cool to look at, but not fun to play, if that makes any sense. Hello, my Jesus is, is way too crispy. I'd like to return him. Do we go back now, or... Uh, another one. Say done, say done. This looks cool. This looks cool. But again, it boils down to is it fun to play? Which I guess isn't really the goal of these games. Oh, oh, I see. The, the entire thing needs to be torched. Okay. Burn! In the name of Satan. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Trogdor. Oh, little trees here too. <laughs> Are we done yet? Oh, there's a little tree here left. <laughs> Joe, I thought the Brazil trip ended already. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are we done? Hey, just for bonus effect, watch this stream in the lowest Twitch settings. See if you see more than I do right now. <laughs> Come on, do it. Or if you're on YouTube, do the same, you know? Oh, but I have another one here. AI upscale the VOD. Maybe this game should be run through that filter where it's just a bunch of like snakes and eyeballs and stuff like that. Okay, I, th I think I'm done. I, don't I think I can burn down this tree, man. No matter what I do. Okay, I'm gonna go back now. Bye. Back in the cave. Oh, another one, one of these eyeballs I gotta burn. It looks the same at 160p. Alright, we got a little bit more. Oh, wait, there's more crosses. There's more crosses I gotta burn. I see, I see. <laughs> which, which part of Morrowind is this? Sorry, Jesus. No, obrigado, Jesus. Burning that trees too. Okay, so please not get stuck again. Okay, I guess we're heading here. Nope. Oh, I guess the the red spots are kind of where you're supposed to go. I but I don't know. Okay, is that the smoke from the other? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, so that means that if I go this way. Okay. 
There should be one more cross here, maybe. Uh, oh, yes, I see it, I see it. Uh, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. It is done. I hope they find a new tragedy to look at. Uh, looks like a black metal cover, you know? Oh, that was it. That was it. That was the game, everybody. That was the game. That was riveting and confusing. Sort of like this whole collection. All right, next game is is this. Uh, sure thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is, this is gonna murder the fucking bitrate. I can already tell. Oh, it's gonna murder it. It's gonna murder it, everybody. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my eyes. Hey, everybody, welcome to Clown Vomit. Funnybitrate.com. Check it out. It's so like this whole this whole game, this whole collection, it feels like you put in a word in a randomizer and it makes a game for you. <laughs> you know? Here is game five. <laughs> it's like what the fuck is this? Again, again, now we're we, we've gone down into like screensaver core. Oh these things. Yeah, I'm not really fluent in wing things, but Is that a dog? A little doge? <laughs> Does it matter if you pass through things? Which cat is stepping on the keyboard right now? Uh, Alright, uh... You know, you know, art is in the eye of the beholder, right? Everything is subjective. All right, let's get real with this. You know, art can be whatever you... If, if anything invokes an emotion, it is art, you know? The thing with these games is that they don't really evoke any emotions in me. It's more so just a, a state of confusion and like, what? You know? And I guess that is emotions in itself, but it doesn't make me like angry, sad or anything. I'm just like, what? <laughs> you know? Man, we're burned to stop us. Do you also see like there's a, there's a dog? And for what? Your superstition is illusorio. Yo, yo, uh, Sauron, you gotta relax, man. <laughs> You meet your, your your chat gamer buddies, and they're like, "You, you play the fucking Call of Duty, dude? It's fucking weed. It's awesome. <laughs> what you been playing this week? Uh, I, I play Call of Duty as well. What you been playing this week, man? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I was gonna do a shitty joke and say it, it speaks Wi-Fi password, but that's not funny. <sighs> something about the music, it reminds me of something, but I don't know exactly what it is, but... Let it be done. Let it be done with already. Okay. <laughs> Resident Evil basement music. Okay. Well, it keeps on going for a while, but. Uh, I'm still enjoying this game more than I did Swell. Swell was agonizing. Okay, I think we're almost out of the uh, the funny zone, maybe, hopefully. 
God, I hope by the end of this we can decipher what the hell all these games were all about. We understand that. Oh, thank God. I'll give you some clarification. What is going on? Help me, please. We should find another tragedy. Okay. We are free. You are a fool. Hey, man, that's mean. You are empty. If the game just ends now, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> Well, everybody, we got a new B or B screen, you know. <laughs> that was that. That was that. K kind of scary at the end, you know. There was something there, like, uh oh, but what is that, you know? All right, next game, we got. Uh, oh, the eye. The eye is back. Okay. See what this one is all about. Shitty Chrono Trigger teleport. I was gonna say it reminded me of the Lawnmower Man for Super Nintendo. You know, a little bit. You set us free. Hey, look at these graphics, man. But you won't escape from here. You will not find the books. What the hell is this? Okay. Well, I appreciate there's graphics, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Shitty Max Payne. Okay. <laughs> Find the pages. Uh oh. You no, know, you know what this is? It's Pac Man. It's fucking Pac Man. Okay, well. <laughs> Pax Pain. Okay. All right. Uh oh. And it just start. Oh no no no! You can you can just continue onwards, man, if you want. Uh oh, they're coming. I have a feeling right now, I don't want to like say too much, but I have a feeling I'm going to be playing all these games and I'll play the very last game and be like, what the fuck was that? It's going to be too deep for me. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a very good explanation of it all. No, really, all these games represented this and that and oh, I see now. Okay, now it makes sense. Maybe these games aren't meant to make sense. You know, maybe these games are meant to just evoke a strange sense of something, you know, I... <sighs> I don't know, but I think we can all agree that the Haunted Places 1 collection is much better than Chain. You know. It's an environmental message. Hey, watch out for the deadly cursor! He's gonna get you. You'll never get me. You'll be stuck in this maze all along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chain more like S H I T. Hey, that's mean. What does that spell, by the way? Okay. Yeah, so far in the collection, the uh, the 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 game with the face on it was 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 all right because it had sort of this ironic vaporwave feel to it. Right now, I don't know what we're playing, but but they all feel like tech demo games. They feel like games that are not even finished, you know. And I guess they're meant to be just kind of quickly played, but it just feels like you know they they had three hours of, of development. Okay, what the? Stuck again. Stuck again. Oh, save me! Oh, thank God. No, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. Excellent! Hey, man, if this was an actual game in like the 90s, uh, your buddy plays Tony Hawk and you're like, hey, wanna play this game? 
Whoa! Radical! Balls! <laughs> Bolas! You get to die a lot! Graphics. Yeah. Yes, yeah. All right, I really want to find the last, last. You know, I'm. There's one thing we can say that is good about this game. The fact is that at no point do you have to like restart the entire game. Collect the pages and move on. But the thing about this, though, is it's still not very good. You know what? It's like was it was a fun game. It was kind of scary. It was that game called, I think, Mustache in the Dark, or whatever. There was like this killer robot, a robot, and you were stuck in like a barber zone. You guys remember that game? <laughs> that game was kind of like, you know, it, it got too hard at the end though, but... The camera monster, yeah, the, the, yep, 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 yep. Where's those damn last two pages? Did I ever play Limbo or Inside? No, I, I, I didn't. Oh! Oh shit, okay. Oh, this is the hard part. Oh! <gasps> Go to the reading desk. All right. Actually, just, just get there faster by dying. Oh, there we go. The books are too powerful for me. The knowledge is a curse. <laughs> You're going to join those who have already failed. You are a tragedy. <laughs> No! No! All right. That was, uh... <laughs> that sure was something. Well, there's not too many games left, but, uh... Here we go. Let's give this one a try. I kind of liked it towards the end, because it had a cutscene, and you were like, Oh, no, the protagonist is suffering. Oh my god, guys, the next game is like 3 a.m. at, at the, the chum bucket. Look at this. Okay, we're, got, we're, got, we're gonna get a killer SpongeBob or something. <laughs> Welcome back to Baldi's Basics. It's like Joel gets me in every day gameplay, you know? Wow. Oh no, he's coming. Okay. Is this game unironic? Uh, I don't know. Part of me want to say it's completely sincere, but there's something with it that makes it a little funny. Okay. I would say this. It's it's the closest thing to a traditional horror game so far, you know? There's no shift. It's just walks, walking around, you know? But... Uh, so it's, it's kind of similar to the last game, in fact. A little bit. You guys remember Ghoul Forest, the Doom mod? You know, with the uh, like scary flying skeletons that chase you around? <laughs> I was gonna say, let's play that. Okay. My god, how, how influential was that Slender Unity game, you know? Like, it, it, it was everywhere, you know? Never hear about Slender these days. I guess the concept didn't get too scary after they made a movie out of it, you know. Uh oh. I know I know like some horrible like murder happened because of it too, so you know. Uh <sighs> I thought it was Donald Duck. Not Donald, I mean Goofy. I, I thought it was like a dead Goofy. See? It's like, eyeball, eyeball, or like, nose there, and eyeball there. You know, I don't know what, I thought it was just a duck, <laughs> duck, dog. Oh my god, I see it. You saw it too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we got to explore more of the forest here. The forest is very scary to be at uh, alone at night, too. Uh, did I ever tell you guys about the nightmare I had about the forest once? I think I might have. I, I, I say a lot of things, and I don't remember what I've said. No. I had a, had a dream, a really bizarre nightmare once, where, like, I dreamt in the dream that I was awake. 
and it was like not in a dream and i woke up and i couldn't control my body and i just put on my jacket and i'm like i can't like control my body i woke up in the middle of the night put on my jacket and he just took a long weird walk into the forest and i was like i can't scream i can't do nothing i was just like looking through my vision you know but i can still feel that it was cold and everything outside but i was walking towards the forest and it was just this like weird noise coming from there and uh i woke up because it got really real fucking creepy because there was like a light in the forest and i was just walking into the forest towards it and it was like a long walk into uninterrupted fucking weird dude abducted now, i don't think it was that kind of dream but uh, was there any monsters in this game I, I don't even remember man oh, there they are watch out okay it's always like the last two items or the last item in these games it's like come on oh gee I think all the enemies have stacked into each other because <laughs> I've ran around so much. They just kind of like slurped into each other, you know, <laughs> which is good because I don't have to avoid that many enemies. I okay, guess so we got the stones here. Okay. Okay. But, uh, and then we got this stone. Oh, th these were the two, uh, two cars having sex. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm trying to find these last two books now, and I'm not doing too good of a job. Okay, well... Oh, here they are. Oh, no, they're stuck! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I unstuck them? Oh, there they go. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. A little help here, friend. Where the hell is the last two two books? Oh man, oh man. You know what the worst thing to, though is? I'm gonna be doing this and it's gonna be like you winner! <laughs> oh my god, I you know what these games kinda have a quality of. This is a very mean comparison. But I'm getting slight action 52 vibes from these games. It's just like here's an idea. <laughs> you know there's a lot of them you wiener you wiener okay I know that's very mean to say it's very mean to say but something about it something about it that's a core how many games were in chain again like 25 games action 25 another space shooter Oh, safety pin. Okay, you missed the book, Joel. <laughs> oh, here they are. Oh, watch out. Here they come. <laughs> I like when it looks like a face. There's two eyeballs. This <laughs> goofy as fuck. <laughs> okay. I see ya. I see ya. Mm-hmm. Uh, my god. My god. Maybe if I stand on top of this, I'll see better. Nope. Mm, I don't know about this one. I think it's overstated. It's welcome a little bit. That's only because I haven't found all the books yet. But I think I enjoyed the other game a little bit more because it was just... I guess more stuff happened. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the other one, like, it wasn't just, like, bad filter, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't want to die now. I do want to die now, man. Okay, where's that last book? Where's that last book now? Come on now. Uh oh they're coming. They're coming. Watch out. Okay, maybe the fallen tree in the street. Hope at the end. Was it something here? Oh, there it is, there it is. 
Oh, it just ends! It just ends! Oi, 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 I could've skipped that game. All right. For fuck's sake. Yeah. You winner! <laughs> Fucking hell. That is, that is literally, you are win. Okay. Thanks. Does that have any log notes on this one? No, no, yeah, involving trenches. That walking through the f woods in the mm, looking for the items that were grandpa passing to the mm, I believe it was, or was it mm? Nonetheless, the kind of stuff made me question the bizarre ramblings we find online in a crack dens. Really, it's logs by my sort of warning to another one of the guide. My mind wanders at these questions. Sometimes I feel my eyes play tricks on me. I've seen too much to do with ice. Anyways, what is life without a few mysteries? And how are we going to know if it's myths or rituals or fake if we don't try them? I used to own books full of this stuff. West side. West side. Whenever I hear West Side, I hit think of Westlife, you know the boy band. <laughs> Who? West side, West Life. <laughs> okay, uh here we go. This game shows up on XSplit as 3D test bed. I am serious. 3D test bed. It wasn't long before I reached the sodden, sodden boards and bramble of the old cabin. Okay. I had to act quickly. Well, this looks fucking okay. What? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Herb burner. Oh, yankin time. Ritual examine. Okay, look at this. This is like a game, you know? So we gotta collect oregano. Alright. Okay, yeah. Th okay, this is much better than the last game. I say that now, but you wait until 10 minutes where I'm smacking my head in. Okay. Is this effort? <laughs> no, the other games had effort too. It's just like, you know. Hmm. God, I hope that this game is not the find three herbs and then suddenly, be doop. You know. Maybe just put them down. Okay, Phil, need need herbs. Okay, well I guess we find the herbs. <laughs> find three herbs and get really tall. Oh, here we go. Sage. Okay. All right, and now we gotta find the uh, oregano. Guys, when you barbecue, uh, do you ever put mustard on your stuff? Like, I'm not talking mustard afterwards, but like as a rub when you're cooking stuff. No, never. Cause I heard Americans do that, but uh, apparently they don't. All right, here we go. Fill with sage. I'm doing it the wrong order. Hmm? It's a good binder, yeah. Blind, blind. Oh, I see. Put it here now. Then one more. Hope Satan appears in this game. <laughs> Satan, Satan. Make bloods. What the? He sees you tickling your bampis. He saw you. He saw you. Here I go. Let's just end. It sure does. All right, next game. I like that one. That was a little, little different, I would say. But uh, all right. Very good.
I should read all the log notes after, I think, but they don't really relate too much to the games, I think, but... Alright, let's see what this one is all about. Uh-oh, it's got, it's got really... Really filter. One glance at a book and you hear the voice of another person, perhaps someone dead for a thousand years to read this the voyage through time. Okay. What is happening? I know it's confusing, isn't it? Okay. Where am I? The game looks creepy though, because it's a forest, you know. It's empty, it's desolate, it's dark, you know. But again, I don't think these games are really going for horror. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it, what it is, but you know. Guys, I predict a giant eyeball will appear and that the game will close. <laughs> Is this an ARG collection? No, no, it's just a collection of, of PlayStation E creepy artsy games. <laughs> the Thunders. I was going to make a joke that this is going to be like Deer Hunting 2005 for the Atari. <laughs> What's going on? I really like Deer Hunter 2005 from Atari. It's like a game that like nobody has ever played. But there was a demo you could download a thousand years ago on the internet. And I used to play the shit out of that demo. So much so mu so much so that I actually liked the demo more than I liked the actual game that came out. <laughs> I, I but there's one thing that bothered me with that game. The shotgun sucked. I like a good like game with a shotgun in it, but that game had a crap shotgun. Which is weird, because it's like a haunting game, but realism, you know. Yeah. The musket is the best gun in Deer Hunter 25. Oh no, it's here. What? What is? Uh oh. Jams. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Fractal Zone. It's also hurting my eyes. Is, is it maybe, 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 maybe that's why there's so many eyeballs. It's meant to hurt your vision, you know. I like the soundtrack to 1080 when you win. Isn't isn't Moya Games the same as Sonic 2000? Ricky Winterboard. Yeah, right. Oh, that was the game. That was the game, everybody. All right, that was Vale. Scare Library. Okay, this has to be good because look, look, it's it's got a goofy. Goofiness to it? Uh, maybe. Here we go. If you are a game. Oh, here we go. It's so. Oh, oh, oh. No, I didn't get to read that. Damn it. Oh, what? Okay, this is like effort. What is this? Wow, well, you're open late, huh? Yep. I'm uh, nocturnal then. Well, cool. Shh. We'll look around or something. Okay. Uh, like Gregory Horror Show. Dude, this is this is decent, you know? There's something to this. <laughs> okay. I thought it was that was me on fire. Okay. Yeah, it must be a little bit of Gregory Horror Show. Yeah. You can books. <laughs> what? I sure can. Oh, watch out, it's the dreaded mouse! Ooh. Okay. Bum ba da ba da bum ba bum ba bum. Read is yes! <laughs> you can books! Learn a skill? Okay, favorite game so far. Favorite game so far. I like this one because this one is just funny. Now, I suspect that there's going to be more giant eyeballs. Read this, yes. Oh, 
Okay. Was that it? No, no, we go, we're going over here too. Okay, we got green lights. This is just a exploration game in the scary. Well, it's just scary library. There's no, not, nothing more to it than this. Okay, she's gone. But this note with a rune on it is here. I wonder if there are any more. Oh, come on! Ah. Uh, Okay, 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 I'll, I'll play the game. Now, the, the real question is this. Is the game gonna end with a giant eyeball and it's gonna just end? <laughs> uh, oops, all slender. I kind of like this one, though, just because it's it looks silly, you know. It's got more personality than some of these games. Oh! Actually, kind of spooked me. Oh my god. Oh my god. You better run. You better run now. Oh, I like that. Not a giant eyeball. Okay, and the fact that you can't turn around makes this kind of scary. Okay. Read this. Yes. I like this one. I like this one. I think in the collection here. Uh, this one sort of stands out a little bit. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. Got it, okay. It's actually kind of scary. Okay. Be gone, monster. I collected all the pages. Stop possessing the librarian. Die, monster. You, you saved me. You are very courageous. I think that book you were reading was overdue. Or haunt or something. The end! <laughs> ah, best game. Best game. Best game tonight. Best game tonight. Ah, that was good. The end. <laughs> ah, that was good. That was good. I like that. That put a smile on my face. Okay, and it just ended like that. Okay, scary library. Okay, what what does this say in, in its its log notes, please? Specimen as from the library, citation needed. Specimen as more can mute. Oh, look at that, snakes and cat. Okay, the, yeah, this one is great. Librarian was later questioned and was unaware of any paranormal activity present in the vicinity. Librarian was found in activity of space. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Abraxas. See, this one has a cool logo to it, too. Maybe the best games are at the very end, you know? It's like, it starts off kind of weird. Middle, it just falls apart. And by the end, it's like, all right, let's turn up the quality, all right? One, one, can, uh, one can hope. Now that there's nothing more to do, I must do what is promised my father. I gotta do this fast. I've already took it already took over everywhere. Oh. No oh, library, okay. Books location. Right mouse button. Okay. Okay. Uh, two. So it should be on, on the upper floor then. Oh, what the fuck? I can still get out. I'm back. Yo, bitch! Okay, this this game is, is creepy. This game is kind of spooky, actually. This this game, I. Okay. I don't know. This, this game is kind of horrifying. Okay. I'm back. Uh oh. Get out. You better watch out. No, no. 2 2 and 4 Oh, but God damn it. Oh, I'm out of time. I'm out of time now. 
One second. I'm back. Okay, it's over there. It's over there. I like this game. This game is... Get gotten out to get out of here quick. Oh, shit. It's kind of spooky, actually. I, I kind of like it. Oh! Can I even get out of here in time? No. I couldn't do it. You know, I'm just gonna say that was that. That was that. Right, you know what? No, just give another try. I'm gonna give that another try, actually. Okay, I know where that is, though, so that's good. Oh, get cheese, man. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, 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 oi! Okay. So it's random every time too, huh? Alright. This game is scary. This game this game is scary, man. Like for real, I, I would say this 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 is is yeah. yeah. No get out! Okay, is there any exit here, or...? I'm guessing that is the exit, okay. <laughs> now get the fuck out! Oh, there you go. This is end. I did it! The book. What's that Coca-Cola logo? Where there's nothing more to do, give yourself to the void. Shrek intro. This reminds me of those Trollje things. <laughs> the Vark Skelter incident, 2021. <laughs> then I saw her face. Okay. Looks like San Andreas. <laughs> okay. Savior Renegade Angel. We got another screenshot here, buddy. Yeah. Ha! Slime spoke like that's ever gonna happen. Open store, huh? The computer virus is in the lake. Okay. Neat. To. And does it just end? Does it just end? Or is it going to be a scary face going, oh! No? All right. Well, well, well. That sure was. I mean, let's be honest. It was the scariest game so far. I mean, this game was scary too, but this one was like legitimate, like, oh man, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, the last game of tonight in this whole collection. If you're five, 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 then I'm six, six, six on the farm. The board. It's rated spooky. All right, here we go. Let's see what it all culminates into. You better be good. You better be real good. All right, strand type game, huh? They all look like the uh, the seventh seal, the Grim Reaper, you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, I didn't. Enter the giant pyramid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Neato. Huh? 
Maybe after this game we're gonna get some clear answers what this whole thing was all about, you know? Oh my god, what if, what if that's me streaming this game right now? It's gonna be like, I look behind me, there's nobody there. And I look back, there's nothing there, you know? Can I reach it in time? Can I reach it in time? Sleepy. <laughs> Gotta reach. Microwave hallway, Metal Gear Solid 4. <laughs> Please, I'm looking for good content. I've been watching Vork Skeletor for 10 years. Please. Jesus, save me! Koyimbo, please! Okay. You can do it. I have to say, I'm impressed you made it this far. Living your death over and over again It's not a way to many souls I sound like Yoda <laughs> You endure the fear and pain from each cycle mm -hmm. In hopes of postponing humanity's end Enough of silly voice Prolonging your suffering to delay that of others is respectable. But we both know it's nothing more than a fool's errand. What is inevitable cannot be stopped. You guys, this is getting deep. I do enjoy watching you try. See you again soon, friend. It's like the architect from the Matrix, yeah. Right. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Now it loops back the torch. You gotta play it again, or... Second playthrough. Here we go. How about no? Is that what it's called? Chain? It's a chain? That's never ending, perhaps? Is, 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 is that the whole connection here? Oh, oh my god, drop my, drop my soda pop. That was the, that's what it was. My Pepsi fell over, you know? <laughs> okay, um... Is there a secret game here, perhaps, or...? Uh... I guess we gotta check the log notes. File missing, file missing, file missing, file missing, file missing. Right. It's interesting, I guess, but... Uh, what about Abraxas? What was the thing about this? Uh, specimens covers reported cause... Fixation cause of female hypnosis. When tested, the specimens have to respond to mouse and was to... I need to see him. Uh, okay. 
Um, there's gotta be more to this, right? Was I, was I expecting any more from this? Yeah, kind of. You know, I, I, I don't know if, like, th th this was a neat concept, but it kind of fell flat. Like, this could have been much better, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I like the idea of, of playing a game of telephone with a bunch of video game developers and, like, making something, but... But at the end of the day, you also have to, like, make something that isn't just, like... Pac-Man with eyeballs, <laughs> you know? Which, I mean, you, I guess, I guess you can't expect everybody to be, like, making something interesting, but... Like, th th there's some games here that I liked really good. Um... My favorite out of this collection was, uh, this game was really good, Dream Aether. I really like this one because it had a vaporwave kind of like irony to it, you know. Like this one. Uh, I thought, uh, I thought this game was kind of cool, you know. Uh, Scare Library was pretty good too. This one was generally, I liked it. And, and this one I thought was kind of scary actually. This one kind of was like, ooh, man, you know. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, and the last game here, I'm not sure what it was all about, but, uh, may maybe if you play it again, maybe, uh, but I gotta be honest, out of all these games, which was the best game out of all of these? I think this one. This, this one was, was, was the best, because it, it made me, like, actually, like, uh-oh, you know. And I'm not sure if this was meant to be horror games, or if it was meant to be creepy. But at least this one was tense enough to be like, oh, these, these visuals are, like, like, scary and weird, you know. Uh, the worst one, the worst one, in my opinion, uh, was probably Swell, was pretty bad. But Bailout, or Ballout, this, this game was, was pain to play. So, this game... And this game, least favorite, you know. Um, but uh, it's so, 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 somewhere interesting here. Somewhere interesting. I would say I'd love to play a chain two. But here's what I would like. Okay, have these games longer than ten minutes, and have them not just be like slender collection or like big eyeball chase, you know. And I guess that's expecting too much, but. Have this idea be like it for a year of game development instead of I don't know how long this took, but I mean, there's potential in this in, in this concept to make games like this, but uh, you know I, I I don't know I just kind of fell a little off, you know. Um, I think it's the devs just having fun. Some put more effort in it though. Yeah, but that that's kind of the problem though. It's like here's a comparison. You know when you're ass assigned something in school and you're the one putting all the fucking weight into the uh, the job and the group. And you tell everybody, like, yo, if I make this, we all have to participate, all right? <laughs> you know? So, uh, I don't know. Uh, no fun allowed. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, see, something like this. I like when it, the, 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 if it's either funny or scary. So, this, this felt a little, like, out of place, in a way. But I kind of liked it that way, you know? But, to make it a whole project instead of a 48-hour game jam. Was this just 48 hours? If this was a 48 hour game jam, then I totally understand why some of these games were like very thin. You know. Um, it took six months, actually. Somebody said. This was done over half a year, so uh, so it was nine days per develop developer. Okay, well. Uh, Unlike other game collections where each one is, hang on, we have an explanation here. Unlike other game collections where each game is developed at the same time, this was done where the first game was made and started telling a story. Then the next dev would play it and continue the story without being allowed to speak with the previous dev. Then this would continue until 20 games were made, with each dev developer only being allowed to play the game directly before theirs. So. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Better luck next time, I guess. But if I can be super honest as well, it's also very subjective how you, the player, interpret these games because, again, everything is subjective and beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't like artsy games that much, you know? That's not my kind of my, my games, 
you know but if you're a fan of, of games that do tell more of a visual kind of dreamish kind of game this might be more up your up your style me on the other hand i kind of like games that are like this or that you know i don't like games that are this okay so well uh i don't know I, he hates art i don't hate art because art is subjective you know and art can be anything really but some games here were were cool ideas like the iphone kind of bitrate shit looking game this one you know if, if if it had something a little bit more to it more meat to it you know so i would say this May, i would love a chain two but have each game be developed a month instead of like six days because i feel six days because you know jesus Christ, if you're working on like a regular job and you also have to make a game and you have a deadline it's stressful and that's probably why some of these games were like little like oh my god so uh you know there's that or you make the opposite make chain two where you only have five hours to make a game <laughs> that way you'll have a hundred games and they're all really good but all right that's chain uh interesting stuff uh, not all of it was great potential in some video games favorite one was abraxas and uh scary library and i also liked uh, dream Eater. so three games was good uh the rest a little in between yeah 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 but cool stuff at least I, i'm glad i experienced it and i'm glad you were there for me to experience but so uh, you know but give it a try yourself Ch check it out you know anyway i'll be right back with noita so don't go nowhere